Hi, this is Janice from ScrappyCutsOnline.com and GessoScrappyCuts.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the It's a Girl or It's a Boy Baby All-in-One Box. It is made just like the Sweetheart Box shown in the previous video. It is a box where the lid pops up to open the box and pops down to close the box. In this design, I have included a pennant to be placed inside the box. I chose a cardstock that was double sided so when the lid portion of the box is folded the back side of the design cardstock shows. After cutting the file with your digital cutting machine score as indicated in the file directions. The lid in this box has ribbon slots to thread a 3 8 inch ribbon through for decoration. If you do not have a ribbon or elastic puller, you can make an alternative out of painter's tape. I wrapped a piece of painter's tape around the end of the ribbon several times and then used my scissors to trim them into like an arrow or pointer so I can point it, thread it through those slots. You only need about 12 inches of ribbon for each box. So it's a great way of using up all those little scraps of ribbon that you have left over from sewing or other craft projects such as scrapbooking. I liked this gingham ribbon. I thought it looked really cute to go with this boy's box. I also found pink gingham, gingham ribbon to go with the girl's box that you'll see later. There, and this is how it looks. Doesn't that look cute? Kind of reminds me of the socks of a baby. The B, A, B, Y letters were not contrasting enough for me, so I decided to emboss each letter. I use kaleidoscope embossing powder to give each letter a glittery shine. It's easier to emboss the letters by placing them on top of the embossing pad rather than putting the embossing pad on top of the letters. But remember to put the letters on upside down, otherwise your letters will be backwards after you emboss them. Don't ask me how I know that. Now comes the fun part, watching the magic happen as you apply heat to the embossing powder. I like to hold it down with something like a, a barbecue skewer, or in this case it's one of my embossing tools that I have. Doesn't that look pretty? The sparkle is just enough and you can see the color blue through it. It did change the color of the baby letters just a little bit but not much. It made it a little bit brighter of course and a little bit darker and contrasting. To make the favor box resemble a baby block, I double matted each side with two different complementary cardstocks. I used my Xyron machine to add adhesive to the back of each square. I used one of my Distress Inks by Ranger to put a darker edge on each square. I used my Xyron sticker machine to add adhesive to each of the letters. When I use my Xyron adhesive machine, I like to turn the paper over and burnish the back of it just so that the adhesive really has good contact, good strong contact with the paper that you're making stickers out of. The first mat is done then you go ahead and add the second layer. These two mats are centered on each side of the box. So now that your two mats are centered on each side of the box it's time to add the letters. I chose to use my Xyron sticker machine to make the letters into stickers and it just is really saves a lot of time and it, it lasts pretty good, it sticks pretty good. Just remember that before you apply it to your other surface to turn it over and burnish the adhesive so it has a really good contact. As you can see, everything is just kind of kept together and I don't lose the pieces. I hope not anyway. Sometimes I do. So now it's time to start adding the letters. 
It doesn't really matter which order you put the letters in. If you want it to spell baby consecutively, then of course you want to go B, A, B, Y. When you apply the letters, make sure that they are centered on the lower portion of each mat. That way, when you close the lid, it will not interfere or cover up any of the portion of the letters. As you can see, I started my my letters with the B in the middle and then the A and the B and the putting the Y on the left. I thought it would make a nicer presentation with the seam between the second B and the Y rather than between the B the Y and the the B. I guess it really doesn't matter. I mean it doesn't really matter which way you put it. Just in any case, when you get done, turn your box over and again rub the back of those letters so that there's good, strong contact between the adhesive and the paper. I used this extra strong adhesive tape with this particular box. You could use quick drying glue, which I used before. I kind of prefer the quick drying glue myself, but again, that's just my preference. So now that you have the box formed, it's time to do the bottom portion to close it up. To close the bottom of the box, fold down the square tabs, insert the two hooked tabs. Be sure to put some glue or adhesive tape on the edge of that last nippled tab. Then you insert it beneath the square tab. Use your other hand and push down inside of the box to put pressure on the tabs for a stronger contact. Now, fold down the lid and close the lid ends with adhesive. You can test your box out to make sure it works. This one works. It looks really cute. I like it. Now it's time to make the pennant. I did not like the way my It's a Boy pennant looked, so I used my Distress Ink to make it darker by direct contact to the die cut itself. You can see that this pennant is still on the Xyron paper. It helps hold the pennant down for inking. I then added my embossed letters. I wanted just a bit more bling, so I put a heart-shaped jewel on the dot of the exclamation point. Next I wrapped a, a trimmed down barbecue skewer with matching ribbon. I hot glued the pennant onto the skewer and then put the backing of the pennant to cover up the glue and the end of the stick. There it is. Check it out to see how it fits in the box. Oh, I think it's going to look really cute. See how it kind of moves around a lot? You could add a little bit of more ribbon around the skewer, but on the other hand, depending on what you put, what kind of goodies you put inside the box, those goodies are going to hold that skewer down. Just add more ribbon. I hot glued my ribbon on and then I added some tool, just little pieces of tool to give it a little bit more celebration look. There's the pennant and putting it inside the box, there's the It's a Boy box. Did you notice how the backing is finished and it, it pops up really nice. The pennant just stays in there. You could fill it with candies. You could fill it with a little gift. You could fill it with little trinkets for the baby or for the mom. I thought it turned out really cute. I hope you enjoyed this video and come back and see me again. Bye!